I'm Jeff Altman, the Big Game Hunter, the head coach for JobSearchCoachingHQ.com, a site with curated information that someone can watch, listen to, or read that will help you find work more quickly. Now, many of you will think that my message is really geared toward an older audience, but it really isn't. It really is geared toward you who are younger. Because the mistakes many of the older professionals have made, it's too late to really correct. But for you who are younger, I'm hoping to head off the problems that some of you will experience. Hear me out, okay? We tend to forget that things change. And we, the music that we've listened to evolves. And one day you walk into the gym, and hear the same music over and over again. And it hasn't changed because the audience that's listening to it becomes stuck in time. They're playing stuff from 20, 30, 40 years ago for that audience. And right now, those are your parents and your grandparents in the gym who are listening to that, if they're going to the gym, obviously. And one day it may be you. Professionally, the same thing starts to happen. People do their jobs. They think they do them well, and I have no reason to dispute that. But professionally, things start to evolve, and people become more resistant to change, and thus they become stuck in this mindset of refusing to, to evolve and become more relevant with the times. The trigger to all of this is I saw uh, an announcement that the Village Voice, a newspaper that at one time in New York was incredibly relevant, was closing its doors, having become unimportant, not being able to change with times, trying to and failing, they had now given up. Circumstances were what they were. They went from a print publication to online only. They failed. You know, folks, this can happen to you very quickly. How relevant you are will dictate how successful you're going to be. And relevance is a moving target. What's relevant today is not going to be relevant five years from now. Lord knows. And, you know, some of you will argue about this. Microsoft was the most dominant firm in the world at one point. After all, all they did was sell disks that were manufactured for one, two cents. Software was printed on them. It was shipped. They're still a very powerful firm, but they're no longer as dominant as they once were as times and circumstances and other options have prevailed. I'll simply say to you that relevance is going to require you to remain alert. After all, the typical person lives for about 30,000 days. Do your own math as to how long you've been alive and thus how much more time potentially is ahead of you. If you miss a shift, it can be detrimental to your career. It can be detrimental to your business. The, the need to recover becomes more profound and often you're not able to. Maintaining relevance professionally is critically important. Again, if you miss this, you can lose it all. I'll speak of uh, one person and then of myself. Uh, I remember a time where in technology recruiting and in technology, the dominant programming language was COBOL. And as technology started to evolve, I remember getting a call from another recruiter who said, I've got all these great COBOL people and I can't find jobs for them. What's wrong? And I said, no one hires COBOL. And then I mentioned the new technology that was supplanting it in the market. For me, you know, one recession after another, one time of, of pushing through um, tough economic times and listening to people asking for my help and being unable to help them 
got me to a point where my frustration level became too high, and I started to think of giving up. I eventually persevered, but started to look for other options that have led me to coaching. I'll just say for you, I'm trying to intercept this notion that you need to be static. No, you need to be an evolving being, not just simply in your personal life, but in your professional one as well. So I hope you found this helpful. I hope I've I hope you remember these thoughts at some point in the future when you're thinking of getting lazy and not working to maintain your relevance. And I hope you have a great day. And if you're interested in my coaching, you connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Once we're connected, message me that you're interested in coaching. I'd love to help you. Hope you have a great day. Take care.